South Africa's first black president has become a global brand. And he's a brand that sells from cheap souvenirs to a high-end range of wines bearing his family name. Nelson Mandela's daughter and granddaughter launched their business in 2010. Their wines are sold for up to 33 euros a bottle, aimed at tourists and the Chinese market. They say they named the company House of Mandela to honor their heritage. My grandfather gave us a great gift and we feel honor bound to maintain you know, his legacy. We think that the wine, is, the wine project is a great project, it's an honorable project. Um, and you know, we were not ashamed to use our name in any way. We, we fully embrace what we've been given. But there's already a feud over who should benefit from Mandela's lucrative name. His longtime lawyer and friend George Bezos is hitting back at a legal challenge brought by two of Mandela's daughters. They say he forced his way onto the boards of companies tasked with selling Mandela's iconic handprints. He says the daughters simply want him out of the way. They want control of large sums of money for themselves. Our duty is that asked of us by Mr. Mandela, to which we will remain true. Mandela's brand is in fact protected by copyright, which is supposed to be guarded by the Nelson Mandela Foundation. But that hasn't stopped the 94-year-old's name, prison number or imagery being used by everyone from a family member to a market trader who wants to cash in on his fame. I would argue that if the foundation had done their job properly, these areas would have been registered so they'd already be determined as no-go areas for members of the family. Yet we're seeing a proliferation of activities which would indicate that the foundation hasn't been perhaps aggressive enough uh, had have been too benign in their approach. Frail as the man himself might be, the Mandela brand is as strong as ever. The task ahead is to ensure his legacy is preserved and that amid the haggling and legal battles, the values he fought for live on.